Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and I'm going to show you game of the biggest chess star of FIDE Olympic Chess Game 2022. It's not Fabio Caruana, unfortunately for him, but it's Domara Gukesh, 17 years old boy who played 8 games and he all 8 games won. That's something amazing, you know, just imagine that you are 17 years old boy, you are playing Olympic chess games and after eight games, you have 80 victories. And now, lots of people are asking, who is this guy? How strong is he? And have we got any super chess star? Or is it possible to believe that this guy one day will be world chess champion? You know, that's uh, too many questions, but uh, let's watch this game because Fabio Caruana as a white is one of the strongest chess players and he got a white pieces and he's going to lose against this super talent. So, eight games, eight victories and the last victory is against Fabiano Caruana. That's the story of this game and let's follow this game. I hope that you will enjoy and you will see interesting chess video. If you am right, feel free and press like or press follow and made my day. So we are going to watch nearly um, not ordinary chess game because yes, white is playing good moves and of course white's got advantage. You know, the bigger black problems are his weaknesses on a7, uh, c6, c4, and e5, and that's exactly bad on formation. At the other side, what Black's got is two bishops advantage, and maybe two bishops are going to compensate these pawn weaknesses. Yes, of course, it's not such a simple um, issue that I will tell you white is better or black is worse, but at least two bishops are something in black's pocket, and he could believe that uh, this position will hold. White's attack. So, okay, um, now black took on d3 and now we played knight h6. Yes, as I told you, there are some pawn weaknesses and it's up to black how we will play this position. What's good for him, this position is a little bit more open, so welcome two bishops in a game. Knight f5 and bishop f4. This is a first threat and of course, uh, black's Queen is under attack, so it makes sense immediately to leave this dangerous line. And black came to b7. At least uh, he's attacking pawn on b2. And of course, um, white is not happy to lose any pawn, so he played in knight a4. And that's a nice move because this knight is going to take care about pawn on b2. And of course, this knight is looking to c5, and that's amazing square for this knight. So black is under pressure and black has to be careful. So f6 is a first, maybe strange move, but it's a good move because every piece standing inside of your territory is a danger and it's good to say him goodbye and to uh, don't uh, allow him to stay there. So f6 makes sense and knight uh, f3, short castle and d4. Everything is wrong for black. Center is uh, under white's control. Here is a nice square on c5. Here is a beautiful dark square bishop. This rook is doing a great job. This rook is going to c1, hopefully to c1, and is going to attack this pawn. Maybe this queen is going to c2 or d3 or b3. So yes, black is under pressure, but that's not the game over. Uh, white has to prove that it's got advantage and white has to prove that he knows how to improve his position and maybe this uh, will be enough for white because uh, soon white will be lost here. G5, this may be another surprise because I can't believe that this move is working against Fabiano Caruana because uh, watch black's king on g8. This king is not a safe 
peace and maybe uh, he is in danger but white has to find how to attack this king and he will not be able to find any attacking move so right now he is going to h2 and now h5 and that's for me another surprise because i thought when i saw this game that uh, black has to bring bishop and rook to game and hope for draw because you know black is playing uh, with opponents g5 and h5 that uh, looks like a nice joke against fabiano caruana but still uh, it's uh, difficult for white to find direct attack against black's position and uh, white has to play another another moves and make threats against black's position so white played uh, rook e4 he is going at least to stop g4 i don't know if g4 is a threat but white played this move queen d7 and queen c2 okay g4 looks like nonsense and now um, black played rook f7 yes uh, black is in a huge defense and i have no doubt that white is playing for a bigger and bigger advantage and maybe now if you know that uh, black won this game later on it's a sad to white that he lost this beautiful position but you know that's a game sometimes we are playing amazing chess and we are losing and we are losing because we are making a mistake and of course everybody is making mistakes and now still everything is fine for white uh, rook even and bishop f8 <laughs> this is something like wall and it's up to white how we will break this wall so a queen e2 happened and queen d5 knight c3 queen d7 black is waiting for white's attack but queen c4 there is no white's attack and maybe white is waiting and maybe he is worried of his younger chess opponent and that's a mistake you know if somebody is got advantage he has to strike he has to attack because if uh, player with advantage will not attack um, there is a chance that he will lose advantage and at the end maybe he will lose a game and that's a that's a flu so e6 happened okay rook b1 and queen d7 still black is waiting and you know just don't be sad that black is not playing for victory against fabiano caruana but fabiano is playing for victory not now because he came back black came back and white came back and now that's a draw offer if white is going back maybe that's a draw unfortunately for fabiano caruana he played a mistake and he played move a3 now everything changed and just watch a7 pawn that's a weak pawn and ask yourself why if we are black why we have this big pawn so it's good idea to change this pawn immediately and yes that's the best plan and uh, black played move a5 and now knight a4 given d8 and unfortunately for white white took on a5 so black lost a weakness that's nice to him but uh, let's watch white's new weaknesses a3 and d4 pawns are weak and uh, maybe just imagine that white will lose one of these pawns maybe white is losing and you know here is the first threat here's the second threat one day uh, this pawn will be under attack and um, something happened something bad happened to white because now he lost advantage and uh, he is losing game after knight c5 okay maybe he should go queen c2 but here i believe that blacks has advantage two bishops and attack against uh, white weaknesses yes uh, but he played maybe losing move and knight c5 and queen d5 and what uh, white has to play he don't want to exchange queens why just imagine that white is exchanging queens okay what now maybe rook e2 and g4 and d4 pawn is falling down then a3 pawn is falling down two bishops in open positions and two pawns down 
that's a loss position for white and that's a surprise you know we saw like um, black was not playing for a victory and white missed something because um, I remember that his position was great now is worse so um, let's come back that's alive and some, sometimes happen that uh, we have a bad day uh, white played giving e2 and now he lost a first pawn and that's not the biggest issue for white because the biggest issue um, are two bishops and maybe well placed black pieces okay rook d1 and rook a7 and now watch what's happened Great rooks on a file, two bishops and extra pawn, g4, it's too late because black is going to open position and everybody knows that in open position side with two bishops has a good chances. So one exchange, another exchange and now this knight is going to h6 but even this knight is in the edge of the chessboard, he's attacking another pawn on g4 and yes, don't worry, this pawn is under attack, heavy attack, because one day if black will manage to open a window for his light squares bishop, he will win another pawn. So bishop g3 and e5, yes, uh, now black is playing for victory and his goal is to attack g4 pawn and um, White's position is falling down and even uh, Fabiano Caruana is trying to do his best and maybe play a little bit more messy position. Okay, that's not enough. Uh, one piece down and uh, bishop to g4. Yes, that's the answer and that's the reason why this guy uh, is winning this game and you know he got the black pieces against Fabiano Caruana, 8 games, 8 victories. That's the story of Chess Olympic Games. So, a queen d2, okay, just imagine that uh, white will take queen, black will take queen, and uh, that's not enough because um, white is one piece down, he's lost. Even that is only one black pawn, I believe that this position is won for black. But maybe this was the last hope for white to play this position and hope for for uh, for chance. But uh, that's another story because now uh, white came to d2, queen f3, and now let's watch this picture. Black pieces are much more stronger than white pieces and absolutely no, white is without any chance to survive. Black is playing for victory and no mercy, no mercy against Fabiano Caruana, one of the strongest chess players on the world. This young guy is, is going for his another victory. Okay, check on g5, maybe looks like threat, but <laughs> no more. Uh, rook g7, rook e1, and bishop h3. This checkmate is a threat, and it's uh, there is no way how to stop this threat. Okay, Fabiano know that he is losing, but he played bishop d6. Okay, another piece, take, take, check, and now after knight e4, <laughs> here. Fabiano resign. That's a sad story for Fabiano because, of course, I will show why he resigned. Just imagine that uh, White is taking the screen, White is checkmated. That was a nice game. Even uh, maybe this was not uh, the most exciting chess game. Uh, I think that this game is important to see new chess style. And uh, let's follow this guy. Maybe we are going to watch um, next World Chess Champion. Hopefully, yes. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if I'm right, feel free and press like or press follow and make me happy. Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed and see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. Bye bye.